Hey, this is Dollar Bill, and you're watching Hot Rod Madness. Hot Rod Madness, where every car has a story. If you love rat rods, street rods, American classic muscle, even the unusual, including those ground pound and tire smoking street machines, we got them. Fire them up. Hot Rod Madness style with your host, Tim the Milkman, along with the Hot Rod Madness crew. Welcome to Hot Rod Madness in the small town of Dawsonville, Georgia, located in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. They celebrate a rich history of racing and moonshine. It's the 50th annual Care for Kids Mountain Moonshine Festival from the Georgia Racing Hall of Fame Museum and Larry, Moonshine Festival. Larry, how are Distillery. you, sir? How are you doing? Good to see you. Beautiful day for a car oh, it's show. Lovely, it's lovely. Up here in the lovely Dawsonville at the Moonshine Festival, yes. Larry brings us a beast to look at <laughs> now if you walk up on this thing man you wouldn't you wouldn't suspect what it has under the hood no no Ooh, no man. no well, let's no, talk it, about how slick that body is first man <laughs> who did the body work on this thing uh chris turner and bedford virginia okay yep yes, sir. Yeah, he's not a professional restorer he just has a you know really? the shop and everything and no kidding. It just takes perfection work you know and well tell him the milkman says he did a fantastic <laughs> job on this baby i'll do it I'll what, do what it. year we got here it's sir? a 1961 ford starliner mm -hmm. galaxy starliner oh the starliner yes man yes. any specs on how many were made Oh man, there ain't I, no telling, right? I've forgotten how many it was, gotcha. but most of them are torn, torn, uh, torn, torn up on the drag strip. Yes, they raced them a bunch, <laughs> didn't they? They sure did. And then they some sure people did. grabbed them, fixed them up, put them on the street, right. and stuck huge engines in them, man. Yes, yes. And you got one, man. I got one. How about pop the hood and tell us a sure, little bit about sure, what's sure. under there? Because th that thing is a beast of an engine, I'm telling you. All right, sir. Now, how, how big is that thing, man? What is that? It's a, it's a 427. Yes, sir. They called it a Ford single overhead cam or camer engine. Okay. It's a unique uh, design because it has a cam in each head rather than in the center of the block, which <laughs> eliminates your push rod and lifters. Yes, sir. It has a six and a half foot chain that goes around the front cover there oh. that runs all of this. And by doing that, it'll turn 9,500 RPM. Woo, how about that? And it, this, this engine was made by, by Henry Ford or uh, before Motor Company, because uh, Plymouth came out with their Hemi head in six, uh, yes, 64 okay. and beat everybody's butt at Daytona. Yeah. And uh, Henry Ford got so mad and he invited all of his engineers together. Yeah. Said he wanted the meanest, biggest, meanest, and baddest yep. engine that could be made. <laughs> and this is what came out. That's what it looks like he that's, did, that's man. It. That's it. Wow, but that's it. But they wouldn't let him run it. <laughs> man, from valve cover to valve cover, you ain't got but an inch or so play on each side of the fender no, wheels, to, man. To, 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 uh, next take, to the firewall. To take the valve cover off, you got to no. move the master cylinder. No, no, you got to take your master <laughs> cylinder well, off. We didn't have to do any modifications yeah. or anything. Really, but hey, man, if you got a good engine builder, you ain't yeah. gonna have to take a head off no yeah. time soon. Yeah. Yeah. Who yeah. built this behemoth? Mylon Keesler in Maryville, Tennessee. He yeah. built all of Connie Coletta's engines back gotcha. in the day in the double A fuel dragster. All right. Yeah, so you you are looking at a hoss. There's no telling what he put inside that thing. Yeah, it's got the original crank and it's got the original yeah. camshaft because the engine was built in 1971 by Hallman and Moody. Wow. It's stamped on the head over there. Uh, HM 1971 number six. Yes, sir. But we don't know who number six was. But but yep. it's got still got their camshafts in it, which is pretty radical. You All know? right, man. Before I go, I want to take a peek at the interior. Sure. You got the uh, red and white interior inside. It looks looks to be all original. It looking. is all original material. Yeah. Everything's original on the car except the engine. Oh man, look at that that beautiful red slick dash in there. Yeah. Love it. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yep, sure wow. is. And, and on a beautiful sunny day like today, you love to go show it off, don't oh, you, Larry? Yes, yes. All right. Sure I would is. too, man. <laughs> Mike, how are you, sir? Nice to meet you. All right, man. Wow. Blown Ford. Yeah. From what year is that, man? 1941. From 41. And the motor is a 41 yeah. flathead. The old flathead with a little supercharger on it. Yeah. And, and your carburetors, how big are they? Uh, they're just the original uh, Model 94 yeah. Strombergs. Okay. Yeah. Nothing oversized there. Yeah, it looks like it runs quite well, man. Oh, it, and, and it's you, fun. Okay. <laughs> it's you really keep fun. it polished up pretty good, too. Yeah. 
Yeah, That's there's, beautiful, there's man. a few hours in that thing. Yes, sir, I bet. Man, no hood, open air, well, engine. Well, if I bought a hood, I'd have to cut a hole in it. I don't want to ruin yeah, a good 41 hood. Yeah. And yeah. my wife has a fit because there's no hood. <laughs> there's no hood. Really, she don't like well, the whole idea, right? No, but when I was in high school, that was the first thing you did when you had a couple carburetors yep. was throw the hood away so everybody could see it. Take the hood off. Yeah. Open air it. Man, that, that's well, pretty cool. If you cool. lived in New York, they used them for sleds. <laughs> I'm loving the uh, nostalgia look, the yeah. air cleaner. That's it. That, that is. Everything is old school. Yes, that yeah. is so cool, man. Love that's it. an Eddie Meyer. They're pretty rare. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. where's the fella to go about getting one of those? I don't know. Can't tell yeah, you. Hunt you? for it. Yeah, you, what'd you do? Get lucky and find yeah, one somewhere? I found yeah. it. Yeah, about ten years ago. Yes, sir. Uh, step a little closer. Let's look at this motor a little bit. Uh, Man, that little flathead's looking great in there. It fits perfectly. Now. What about these headers, man? You got uh, these headers coming way those. up. Yeah, I had to build those because this yeah. car had an optional. They were called town and country horns. They're like big truck horns. Okay. And the only way I could get the headers up was to come around the horns. Yeah. So that made them go down through the wheel well okay. to a collector like they used to do on the old wheelies. And then I had a guy in Fresno, California, bend that stainless yeah. steel side pipe wow. to look like the running board. Yes, sir. How about that? So, Love them side pipes, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ankle burners. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. you keep your leg away from them a little yeah, bit yeah. after a long it, ride. You do it once. You only do it remember. once. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. That's hey, it. man. So are you local around here? Do you yeah. do the Moonshine Festival every year? This is the third year, but this is the first year I brought a car. I've been okay. working on this 17 years. Oh, so man, 17 just, years. Yeah. Wow. My projects last a while. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, but, original type color? That's the original color that this mm -hmm. car was. It's called Mayfair Maroon. Okay. It's done in PPG. Yes, sir. And uh, all new glass. The interior is all reproduction, original. All the window frames and dash are hand painted in wood grain to look like original. Wow, thing's gorgeous, man. He can open the door if he wants. Oh, yeah, open the door. There Check it go. out. What all we got the on the interior? Let's take a look in here. There you go. Open up both doors. Let's get a peek at this. Oh, yeah, you got the original style bench seat. Everything. Right. Low car shifter going on there. The yeah, dash is that's beautiful. That's a C4 automatic. Okay. And, and then it, there's a nine inch Ford rear end in okay. here. Okay. And what gear is in it? I mean, uh, uh, 410, so I can be a squirrel yeah, on yeah. the street. You know, okay. Terrorize the teenagers. Sure, yeah, yeah. It's not a highway car. The flathead. Spin a tire every now and then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why not? You got to have some fun, right? Absolutely. You're still a teenager, man. Hey, I'm 18. <laughs> I'm 18. Go. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> You bet you. I, yeah, if I had one of these, I'd never grow up. You're right. Man, it looks great on the inside, too, Thank man. You. That's that's comfortable, though. Yeah, it is real comfortable. Yeah. These like sitting on old sofas. Yeah. Sitting around in your living room on the couch. All right, check this ride out. Excuse me, sir. Hey, how you doing? All right, what's your name? Michael. Mike West, how are you, sir? Michael West. Glad to know you, sir. Glad to know your ride, too, man. What year is that? 1928 Model A Ford. 28 Ford. Wow. Chevy power plant? 350 Chevy, brand new motor. Yes, sir. A couple hundred miles on it, just put it in. Cool. Polished intake, yep. polished carburetor, polished valve. Wow, everything's polished, man. Oh, yeah, I love, right. love chrome and purple. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, you got it lit up with the LEDs. Yep. That I, looks good, man. It's got LEDs all into the chassis for, oh, yeah, okay. for at nighttime, so. Underglow. Yeah. <laughs> Troy, how are you, sir? Pretty good. How are you? All right, man. Not bad. It's uh, plenty of sunshine here at the... Uh, moonshine festival absolutely and we're looking at some really cool hot rods today and uh I've walked up on this one i'm going what's the map all about on the back <laughs> of this thing and I, I i think i've seen the car before but i'm not sure man give us a little info on it yeah you've seen it a couple times it's oh. actually been around everywhere yeah uh, and this is jim jard uh, it's his car it's a 31 roadster mm -hmm. i work for him i'm a driver uh, for his bonneville cars okay um he wanted me to bring it down here today so i brought it down here kind of to, to debut it mm -hmm. and just let everybody kind of see it and yeah man what a, what an art, work of art <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's pretty cool yeah at the route 66 in the map here going on that, that's Absolutely. pretty neat man and there's got to be a story behind this 
Yes, sir, there is. How did this get painted on there? Jim built this car, and what happened, he went to a car show, and they wouldn't let him in because it had primer color on it. And every car there had to have regular paint, so there was two ladies outside the fence that were painting, painting actual... Um, pictures okay. and he walked up to him yeah. and he said hey i want you to paint this so i can get in the car show yeah. so they did it and he said i want you to have a map of everywhere i went wow. and these are the locations that jim is, has taken his cars in this car um, all around nice and so it does yeah. it's have it's got a lot of road miles on it yeah and it's wow. it's a good running running motor that's cool man that is so cool excellent the the stories we get out of people is a, a fantastic man that, that's one way to get your car painted to get in there and win the show you know yeah he yeah. actually won the show yeah with How about that. that so it's very nice it has a cadillac motor yeah it's a 31 roadster okay it, let's step over here and take a look at it man let's check out this cadillac motor all right from what year cadillac that's old stuff yeah 53 yeah okay it's a, I mean, it really, I mean, the whole car, it really fits. It's an automatic. Mm -hmm. um, so you can cruise down the road and now here in the Georgia mountains, it's really nice because one yeah. thing they can do uh -huh. is make smooth roads oh, yeah. for bikers and hot rodders like hot us. Rods. So, yeah. You know, after the paint job story you were telling me, yeah, I can tell it's paint been painted with a brush. Yeah, it you, sure has. You've got to leave it that way too. <laughs> Absolutely. We're not going <laughs> yeah. to change it at all. Oh, yeah. Jim loves this car. And I mean, it really, when you're going down these roads, it handles like a go-kart. Cool. It really does. Yeah, that boy, that's, that spells fun for me, man. How you doing, sir? Just fine. All right, what's your name? Dwight Cass. Dwight Cass. You one of them moonshine runners from back in the day, aren't you? Yeah, I hauled it for 20 years. <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> I was hauling I'm moving about 400 cases a week. Really? Okay. And, uh, Done it, done it. A junior, I run with Junior too. He's my neighbor. Okay, Junior that's, Johnson. That's Junior Johnson, right? <laughs> okay, he's your neighbor, and you used to run moonshine with him. We run them. I drove a race car too for years. We run up north, sprint cars, and oh, okay. uh, open wheel midgets and stuff. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, I, was, uh, I got this out of high school and hauled it for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. I lost the car in Winston Salem with 185 gallons on it. Oh. <laughs> And the law was counting and said, how much do you have on there? And he said, 185 gallons. He said, he needs a truck. Yeah. <laughs> I said, you got, <laughs> you got to know how to pack it. And it made him mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gene, how are you, sir? Doing fine. All right. The tall guy in the cowboy hat has built himself up a hot rod here. And man, what a hot rod. Look at this. Uh, twin turbo diesel Cummins motor Willis. Whoop. What year is that? It's a 51 Willis sedan delivery. Okay. All and right, sir. Bought it in uh, Canton, Ohio. Really? Drug it back to my home in Moxville, North Carolina. Okay. Started work on it. And this, is, this is what I come up with. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. You came up with a work of art. <laughs> Thank you. That's pretty cool. Man, there's a lot going on here, a lot of detail going on here. Yeah. The, uh, the Cummins engine here is detailed quite well, man. Are you a diesel mechanic by trade? Uh, no, I was in auto parts business, retired from okay. it in 09. Mm -hmm. I did run some trucks before I went in auto parts business and okay. worked on a bunch of diesels through my life, but yeah. not really a diesel mechanic, I don't think. Yeah, okay. But I, I love messing with the diesels. Though. Well, well, just looking at it, man, you're a, yeah, you're a diesel mechanic. Look at it. <laughs> yeah. Here's a little closer. Let's check this thing out. Oh boy, look at all the detail going on here. Hey man, you got a, you got a lot of upgraded stuff on this thing, man. Your brakes, the uh, uh, all brand new parts it looks like on this thing. Well, I built this thing, uh, I built my own frame, stretched mm -hmm. it out, chopped the uh, top on this thing, dropped it down a little bit. <laughs> I was trying to get that sort of rat rod look. But, sure, yeah. Uh, a lot of people say it's not a rat rod, which, it is to me, but it's just nice. I can get it and go anywhere. It's got yeah. cruise control on it, hey, AM, FM radio, air conditioning, automatic. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Just get, go riding anywhere I want to go. And I've been to Ohio, uh, yeah. Tennessee, uh, out in Pigeon Forge, a bunch of shows. Uh, wow. Lebanon, Tennessee, to Rat Rod shows, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina shows, and of course down here to Dawsonville, Georgia. This is a very good show here. 
We have a lot of fun. And, and you're getting pretty good fuel mileage with it too, yeah, right? Run about 23, 24 miles a gallon, okay. which is not bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What kind of transmission's behind it? It's got a automatic overdrive, a locked up converter out of a 95 Dodge pickup with a Cummins diesel in it. Okay, yeah. In fact, the engine came out of a 91 Dodge truck. Uh, oh, okay. Had 40,000 miles on the old Dodge truck I bought and put it, took it out of it and put it in here. Yes, sir. Put and, the, and the rear end? It's an 8.8 .8 Ford rear end out of a 93 Mercury Marquis. Wow, all right. Man, it sounds like you set it up quite well, man. That's cool. It does, yeah. does pretty good. I'm, I'm well pleased with the way things have went on it so far. Hey, folks, it's Freebird from the Freebird Show live worldwide. You're watching Hot Rod Madness. Vic, how are you, sir? I'm doing good. All good. right, man. Yeah, glad to be here. Oh, yeah. The Maverick. Yes, sir. Wow, the 70. Maverick goes way back. That's a 70? Yes, 70. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Uh, Randy Payne signed this car, didn't he? Right, right. Randy Randy drove the car some. Okay. Back in the day. All right, yeah, man. Yeah. So I'd imagine back in 70, somebody says, hey, let's build a race car. Well, Mr. Ed Skelton originally owned the car. Mm -hmm. Went to Harmony Moody, Harmony Moody built the car, mm -hmm. and Mr. Ed was getting up in age. He had run Fords pretty much all his life. He had uh, funny cars and, and pro stock and had a, one of the 68 okay. uh, Mustang cars, factory cars, and uh, this was the last car Mr. Ed had. And uh, he drove it, and then Randy Payne got it from Mr. Ed and drove it for a while. Mr. Ed got it back. And uh, then uh, Jay Cushman, a guy out of Maine that goes around buying up old race cars and stuff, mm -hmm. he bought the car from Mr. Ed Skelton. And uh, a friend of mine, Bruce Ewing, out of Atlanta, Georgia, he was looking, he was a Mopar guy, and him and his buddy was wanting to start match, doing some match racing in the 80s. Okay. And so uh, he had got in touch with Jay Cushman to find him a Ford or a Chevrolet to match race against his Mopar. All right. And cool. so uh, when Jay Cushman <laughs> bought this car, he called Bruce, and uh, and Bruce told him, he said, well, bring it, bring it to me. I'll meet you in Swanee, Georgia, and look at it. And so Jay hauled it to him, and uh, Bruce bought it. Took it all apart and gonna redo the whole car, primed it, and then something fell through with the match race deal and I bought it from Bruce. Cool. So it's originally had three owners. All right, man. And that's it's been been within it. eighty miles of my house all its life. And there's the history on the Maverick. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> BJ, how are you, sir? Doing fine, how are All you? All right, man. A couple of fantastic hot rods you got going on here. A couple of big block bohemoths. Thank you. Now, now one of my biggest questions here, man, I know some of these uh, original race cars from back in the day still exist. Is Could this be one or two of them? Yes, this is the original locomotion race really? car. Okay. Yes, it is. And now, is that, that can't be the original power plant they used to run in it, right? Or it is. is it? This is the original is? power plant. Yes, it how is. How about that? Yep. It wow. started out as a 426, it's bored out a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, it's now 562 cubic inches. Wow, so they beefed it up over a period of yep. years, right? Yep. And, and have you made a pass in it at all, or is it just for show? It's just for show now. Yeah. We don't okay. run them no more. Retired race cars. Yep. Man, that's a beast of a power plant there. The 426, golly, stretched out to 500 and whatever. Oh. <laughs> That what a beast, right? And, it is. All right, now what about this one over here? That one's a '68 Hearst Dart. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of the original Hearst Darts. It was a Dick Landy race car. Okay. Um, now it's just a retired race car. Mm -hmm. It's 588 cubic inches. Um, Hearst four-speed, uh, just all original race car. Looks like they got the period correct wheels on them. You know, they got the uh, SS Craigers going on there. All, the, all business on the inside with the cages and all. Yep. Uh, we had part of Dick Landy's relatives help us rebuild these cars, mm -hmm. or this car, uh, so we could get it back to period correct. Okay. There's a few things changed because, you know, some things weren't. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> as good as what they could yeah, be. Yeah, but how do you go about, from photos or whatever, how do you go about putting them back the way they used to be? Photos and some of the old crew people that yeah. helped build the car and things like that. Okay. 
you track down some of the old timers that used to be on the crew or whatever and get them to point certain things out maybe uh, yeah mike landy helped us put that car back together yeah. So all we right. got a lot of it correct. Yeah, I'm not familiar with all the names that used to be involved with the cars, but uh, I could imagine they still remember how it was back in the day. Man. They do. Yeah. So we try to get it back as close as possible. Man, that's cool. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Good morning. All right, man. Glad to be here. What's your name? No place on this earth I'd rather be. My name is Powell Montague, and I'm from Ocala, Florida. Yeah. And my little car here is street legal. It was a Legends race car. Really? It now has a 1938 Ford 60-horse motor that's only 136 cubic inches. This flathead Ford motor over here is what most people remember. Yeah. That's 239 cubic inches. Okay. And this one's 136 and cubic inches. This is the dinky little flathead. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, that thing is uh, uh, very antique, I would say. Well, that engine is 250 pounds lighter than the one over there. Yeah, you won't find these every day, right? No, they only made them from 1937 to yeah, 1940. Right. And they were a horrible failure <laughs> because it was after the Depression. Yeah. And they Ford made this small engine, but the standard engine was an 85 horse in the 37 through 40 Ford. Right. This failed miserably because it was put into a 3,200 pound car. Wow. And they had to gear them with a 444 rear end, which topped out at 45 to 50 miles an hour. Man, what were they thinking? Maybe gas mileage? I don't Absolutely. know. Absolutely. This, this was after the Depression. Yeah, yeah. And they figured that they would go small. But anytime you log an engine down, it's going to get horrible oh, sure. fuel mileage. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, and you got two one barrels? What is this on those top are, of it? Those are two twos, Stromberg, Stromberg okay. 97s. All right. And the intake is made for single barrel carbs, but these are on this engine backwards okay. to have room for the alternator. That's what's different. They're uh, on there backwards. Yep, and yep. It's, uh, yeah, okay. Yep. Does it run okay that way? Would you like, like to hear it? Oh, sure. Fire this thing up, man. Let's hear it. You know, well, not every day you get to hear one of these little flatheads run, it's okay? It's cold this morning, yeah. so we'll see. See if I get it to crank. Wow, listen to that. <laughs> Man, that thing runs like a sewing machine. Look at that. Well, it better. Everything inside of it's brand new. Oh, yeah, so you've yep. gone through it and rebuilt it. Yes. And it's, it's, it's Working fine. It's got uh, almost 4,000 miles on it, and it's street legal. Okay. Yep. So that's a lot of fun. You can only put one person in that. Just me and the dog. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. You and the dog. Just me and the dog. I bet the thing's a blast to drive. That's a tiny little little automobile there, buddy. Yes. Uh, it has a Toyota 390 rear end in it. Okay. And instead of going 45 to 50 miles an hour, it will go 85 miles an hour. And I wow. have I have a a digital speedometer in there that records the miles yeah. and all of that and okay. it's on there that it's got about 3700 wow. miles yeah yeah and my top speed on it's been it's not a race car but yeah. i have had it to 85 miles an hour okay keith how are you sir good good all to right, be here man. One of the original moonshine haulers here at the Moonshine Festival. Keith owns it, I reckon, man. Well, give us a little insight on this car, man. What's the story on it? I run across this car about four years ago, about 15 miles from where I live. Mm -hmm. Mr. John Will Phillips bought this car and two other just like it in 1939. Okay. And immediately started modifying this car to haul liquor. It, uh, the motor in it was built by Vic Elderbrock Sr. in 1946. Really? Okay. The car is it's modified from one end to the other just for one reason, and that was to haul moonshine. Yes, sir. It's got a B-17 bomber pilot seat in it. The rest of the interior has been gutted. Mm -hmm. The trunk lid is turnbuckled down to where you can't get in it from the rear. The, uh, all the, the uh, floorboards are reinforced. The fenders are reinforced. It's got an extra cross member and leaf spring off of a A model above the rear axle to handle the extra weight. Okay. It's got Lincoln Zephyr gears, uh, a stroker crankshaft. The, the motor was built, like I said, by Vic Elderbrock Sr. in 46. Sure. So okay. it's, uh, cool. it's got every trick that they knew back then done to that motor. Wow, just looking at this thing, man, I could imagine 
that it was just crammed full of uh, bottles, jugs, whatever they could haul the shine in, right? Right. They used to, I forget how many gallons a night that they would haul, but Mr. Phillips would head out at like midnight. Yeah, yeah. One of his sons would ride, uh, and I was sitting on a spare tire, and they'd go make their deliveries. Yep. And, and, and uh, back then, man, this was one of the fastest things on the street, so that's probably oh, why they use them, definitely. right? Definitely. Nothing, yeah. nothing could catch this car. And... Uh, Wow. Mr. Phillips had all the locals bought off, so mm -hmm. he uh, he did two stints in, in uh, federal prison when the feds caught him. <laughs> but locally, he was a wow. hometown hero. Now, I'm looking at Alabama plates on this thing, man. Is this from Alabama? or? I'm from Auburn, Alabama, and this okay. car's from Lynette, Alabama, gotcha. about 15 miles north of okay. me. Wow. Man, what, what, a, what a work of art it is nowadays, you know? Take it to yeah. these car shows. People want to see that authentic right. identification, you know. Right, and, right. This car sat. Nice. This car, the tires on this car were put on in 1951. Mm -hmm. The tube, the inner tubes in this is, uh, tires are called uh, sealed air inner tubes. Okay. They weigh about eight pounds a piece. Yeah. So you can't get a puncture. I mean, he he knew every trick to not, to not breaking down, not yeah. getting stopped. The uh, left front fender's got bullet holes in it where revenue were shot at it. Uh, <laughs> wow. It's Man just a stories. piece of history. Yes, sir. David, how are you, sir? Good, how about you? Okay, man, I'm great, man. I get to come to a car show and see stuff like this. Wow, <laughs> what a ride. I appreciate it, thank you very much. I've enjoyed man, it. Man, I bet you have. That yeah. thing's gorgeous, man. Well, thank you so much, I've worked on it. About two, a little over two years trying to get it all together. A little over two years, and yeah. that is a 56 Buick? 56 Century, yeah. Century. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Man, that's, that, you know, that's American styling back in 56 there. You, you think that Harley Earl had anything to do with that? I think he had it going on them days, don't I you? I think he did, man. That, I think he nailed the body style on this I thing. I just uh, saw one of these old cars years and years ago when I was small at the car show. And yeah. Port hose kind of turned me on. i just been... Yeah. Kind of want one ever since. Look you know? at that body line, would you? <laughs> you look at the rear of the car and the front of the car, the, down the side, you, the body lines just speak to you, you know? Yeah, you uh, you can you can, you can see a hundred Chevrolets to one Buick, uh -huh. so. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You know, the Buicks are not just everywhere nowadays. And one like this, dude, when you see it in a crowd of cars, you got to come over and ask. How big is the motor in this thing? That's a six liter engine come out of a, a, a 2006 uh, Denali. Really? Yeah, it's a six six point oh liter. All right, can you, can you man, can you pop the hood and let us check sure, it out? Sure. I... Yeah, let's see what he's done under here. You know, uh, when you when you pop the hood on a, a Buick like this, it's either all original or they got something special going on. Yeah. And here you go. Oh, I love, love how you stamped that emblem right there on the front. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of an old race car guy, so I, I, I went around and put all, uh, all all new suspension on it everywhere with coilover shocks, yeah. and disc brakes, and had oh. rack and pinion steering and all that good so stuff. So it rides good. Rides and yeah. drives good. Yeah, it's got nice. modern air conditioning and all that good stuff on it. So. Yep. Yes, sir. And my son, he, he uh, actually did all the body work and painted it for me. Really? I own a paint I own a paint supply house. There's a couple mm -hmm. of them around, the Southern Auto Color. Okay. So... Uh, we get a little little bit of experience with some of our paint time to time. It gives oh, us a chance to kind of highlight some things at the store, yeah. you know. Okay. Let me ask you a question here, man. With these Buicks and all, you know, the the bumpers on this thing are just, just they're phenomenal, you know. Yeah. The, you don't find those anywhere. Yeah. You got a perfect one going on here, and I'm going, yeah. how do you, how do you. Uh, it didn't start out perfect. It takes a little wow. time to get them just right, you know. Okay. Uh, so I, you had to I, tweak this one in, in some of the pieces they come in three or four pieces they're not all one gotcha. piece okay some of it came from uh, california and some of it you find here yeah. sign there yeah, yeah. you just kind of have to piece them together they're not just sitting around everywhere in one place you know yeah, yeah. so somebody is replicating the uh, parts and pieces for no. them no, no. They, these are just you're just hunting them out in the middle of yeah. anywhere and everywhere you, you know smooth them out and go have them re right? yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Gotcha. yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. I that, luckily I started off with a good car. It had a lot of good trim on it to start that's with, good. and uh, yeah. that's the hardest part of, of uh, these old Buicks is finding all the all the pieces you need. So. Body pieces, man. Yeah. Golly, Actually, there's a lot off, going on there. Better off to start with a good car to start with, right. that, even yeah. if you have to pay a little more. You know, makes it a lot easier, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's check out the interior, man. Sure. What you got going on here? A guy from um, Hazel, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. 
that uh, uh, that did my interior for me. He's working on another one for me now. And, uh, Can we pop a door? I want to see in there, man. Look at that, would you? I actually did wow. all the gauge work. I mean, all the all the dash work myself. I refabricated the old original dash yeah. the way I wanted it. So, golly, that looks good, man. Yeah. The yeah. two-tone leather in there. Sure. Just, wow. The uh, the seats match the car really, even yeah. though you didn't use the blue on the interior. Yeah. Yeah. It still matches quite well. That yeah, looks good. Yeah. I, I thought the color scheme went real, real good with the outside color scheme. And yeah, the, sure. Did you come up with them colors? Yeah, actually yeah. I did, yeah. Well, I had some help. My wife, she's good at that stuff That's too. That's good, you know, so. yeah. I, I take a lot of credit for it, but they, my whole family's into it, so yeah. we're we're all car people. My daughter, my my son, and my yeah. wife, we all enjoy it. All right. So. Oh, yeah, you can pile the whole family in a Buick and oh, go cruising yeah. around. Yeah, there oh, you we go. we got a wagon. We all ride in this wagon most yeah. of the time, you know. Plenty of leg room in that, baby. Yeah. Nice I had a friend choice. of mine about a week ago, we went down to uh, Fort Lauderdale and picked up a Buick wagon. Okay. Big, big one of these big nice Cavalero wagons. They're yeah. really hard to find. Wow. Okay. But uh, hey, man, I'm loving the wheels on this thing. Yeah. Nice choice of wheels. Appreciate it. Thank you. Beautiful ride. Foose, chip foose wheels. Yeah. So How about that? I went ahead and used the uh, wildwood brakes on on all four corners. Okay. And this this is PPG uh, Deltron paint. Mm-hmm. And uh, we uh, like I say that's what we sell is this car paint for a living. So we're kind of proud that? of. Way and, come out. and the name of that shop is? Uh, well, it's actually just my son's. We're just behind the house shop. Okay. You know, yeah. Wow. We don't we don't really work for anybody but ourselves. We, there you go, folks. That's <laughs> what you can turn out out of your backyard if you really yeah. try, man. Yeah. This thing is gorgeous. Thanks for watching, and check back soon for more Hot Rod Madness.